the first president of Uganda. The first post-independent president of Uganda, Sir Edward Frederick William David Walugembe Mutebi Luangula Mutesa II, born at the house of Sir Albert Cook in Makinde, Kampala. He is the fifth son of Sir Dawoodi Chua II, Kabaka of Buganda, who led his people between 1897 and 1939. His mother was Lady Irene Drusilla Namaganda. When his father died in 1939, he became Kabaka and was installed outside the Lubiri at Mengo on the 26th of November 1939. He went to England and studied at Magdalena College, Cambridge Corps and was commissioned as a captain in the Grenadier Guards. He later became a major general, the only black officer in the Grandiers at that time. Back in Uganda, Kabaka started facing a larger challenge because the fight for self-determination was on. It had already begun. Self-determination was taking place. The year 1945 to 1950 saw a widespread protest against both the governor of Uganda is the colonial governor and some of the Baganda thought that Mutesa was not tough against the British. Some of his ministers like Columbia in charge of finance were called stooges of the British. Columbia who survived mob system was forced to resign. In the 1950s, the British government floated the idea of uniting East Africa, that means Uganda, Kenya, and Tanganyika into a federation. East Africa feared that this would lead to being under the control of Kenya white settlers community. Mutesa opposed the proposal and came into conflict with the British governor, Sir Andrew Cohen. In 1953, the Lukiko sought independence from Uganda with Mutesa demanding that Uganda be separated from the rest of the protectorate. He wanted Buganda to be separated from the rest of the protectorate of Uganda and transfer to foreign, of foreign office jurisdiction. Cohen responded with deposing and exile the Kabaka. After two years of Buganda hostility, Cohen was forced to reinstate the Kabaka. He returned to Kampala on the 17th of October, 1955. 
under a negotiated settlement and he was made a constitutional monarch and gave the Baganda the right to elect a representative of the Kingdom Parliament, the Lukiko. Some of you who didn't know who Kabaka was, he was a military man with the rank of Major General. Major General. In 1962, Ubukana became independent from the Britain under the leadership of Dr. Apple Milton Oboten. Under the new country constitution, under the new country constitution, the kingdom of Buganda became a semi autonomous part of a new Uganda federation. Obote then became the Prime Minister. Obote became the Prime Minister. While Sir Edward Mutesa, the Kabaka of Buganda, became the first ceremonial president of Uganda. The country was divided along national, religious, ethnic lines. The national division was the most apparent one. The country was dominated by Baganda. And you can then see the trending that led to annoyance of other four kingdoms. The kingdom of Bunyoro felt especially aggrieved having been deprived of the lost counties when Uganda became British protectorate. At the same time, in deep religious division was developing. The majority, Catholics, were excluded from power by the Protestants. Economic activities was mostly undertaken by a large group of Indian immigrants who operated many of the business in Uganda at that time. And that was another center of power because they have the money and they have the business. And what surprises us all is that most of those Asians were holders of the British passport. And whatever business they did, of course, they knew exactly where to root their money where their money was going and one could feel the eat that at that time something was developing, something was boiling up between the people of Uganda and some of those Asians. And they constituted the majority of the colonies missions. There was a long standing divide between 
the Nilotics of the North and the Bantu of the South of the country. If you look back at a long walk after independence, just divide still remain in place between the Nilotics and the Bantus. When we got independent, three main parties developed. The Democratic Party are the model of Germany, Christian, Democrat, representing the Catholic population. The Uganda People Congress, UPC, with support in the North and Western Uganda. And then you have the third group, the Kabaka Yaka, KY, meaning kings only. A Buganda Nationalist Party, that was a Buganda Nationalist Party, you have to be a royal to be a part of it. Or you have to be associated with the royals. Otherwise, you won't be a part of that system. The coalition rule between Uganda People's Congress and the Kabaka Yeka KY came into existence because UPC at that moment had several obstacles in forming a government. He didn't have the majority. So he had to look for a partner and form a government. At that moment, the party leadership was fragmented. And each party functionaries represented the local constituencies. Obote's strength was among his Langikin in northern Uganda. But he was a very good player. He brought people who could play the game for him. Like George Magezi, who was representing the interests of the Bunyoro compatriots. He brought in people like Gracie Bingira that was servicing his interests in Ankole. And Feli Konama, who was coming from West Nile district in the north. From West Nile district in the north. And then you could see how the Uganda People's Congress played the game by picking people from this region to represent them, from this region to represent them, and then bringing them together to work within the Uganda People's Congress. The Buganda wanted, and they did claim, for special treatment. 
which also led to the other kingdom demanding for similar recognition. The Itesho people who had never recognized pre colonial king claimed the title of Kingo for Tesho district. Political boss. They claim the king of potential district. So every district it seemed as if they said, okay, now if the Baganda want that special treatment, we are also going to ask the government to offer us something in return. It was, a, it was a major challenge for the Prime Minister then, Mr. Obote. Later in 1964, Obote felt strong enough to address the critical issues of the lost counties, which the British has postponed until after independence. The promises of future reward within the ruling coalition began to pay out as members of parliament crossed the floor to join the government. After two years of independence, He finally acquired enough votes to give the Uganda People's Congress a majority and free himself and the Kabaka Yeka coalition. The turning point came when several DP members of parliament from Bunyoro agreed to join the government if Obote would undertake a popular referendum, referendum to restore the lost counties to Bunyoro. Kabaka opposed such move. but was unable to prevent it happening. He decided, Kabaka decided, to send 300 harm Buganda veterans to the area to intimidate Banyoro voters. In turn, 2,000 veterans from Bunyoro marched on the front line. Marched to the frontier. That is how a civil war was averted and the referendum was held. The vote demonstrated an overwhelmingly desire of by the resident in the counties annexed to Buganda in 1900 to be restored to their historic Bunyoro allegiance. And it was therefore no surprise when the arrangement between the two political parties collapsed chaotically in September 
1964. Members of the Kabaka Yeka in the National Assembly started crossing over to Uganda People's Congress. They were lured by the chance of office, a promise of what a care till his death. He played the game very nicely. He promised these people jobs and he gave them what he wanted, what they wanted. And at that moment, when the members of the Kabaka Yekara started crossing to Uganda People's Congress, that is when some of us knew that the marriage between the Uganda People's Congress and the Kabaka Yekan was not going to last long. Was not going to last long. And it didn't last long. It didn't. The Buganda original parliament then passed a resolution in May 1966 declaring that Buganda incorporation into Uganda had ended with the suspension of the Constitution and requesting the federal government to vacate the capital city, which was in Buganda. Dr. Obote, Dr. Apollo Melton Obote, responded with arm attack upon King's Palace and that attack was led by General Idi Amin Dada who stormed the King's Palace In that conflict, the king of Uganda left the country and he fled to the United Kingdom, where he stayed there in exile. for a long time. So, as we look, we take a right to see the role of our president. We are running a series. We have started with the first president of Uganda, Sir Edward Mutesa II. King of Uganda, and it's very interesting to have learned, to have known that our first president Major General Sir Edward Frederick William David Walugembe Mutebi, Lawangula 
Tessa the second was the first president of Uganda. Thank you for listening. I will be back.